My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Now oh, this video is going to be so easy for me because we got a really nice car here. The 1963 Chevy Biscayne. Yes, it looks like your grandfather's car, but there's a 409 four and a quarter horse motor under the hood and a four speed on the floor. If you visit volocars.com, you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos of these cars, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, it'd be my pleasure to take you for a spin in this She's Real Fine, my 409. I, I bought 18 cars. I was down south. I was buying cars from different people, and the truck started bringing them in. Of all the cars, this thing was pristine right off the truck. Drove it around the block. It was beautiful. I drove it home that night. I went and picked up Chinese food that night with my daughter. This thing is amazing. It drives like new. It was body off the frame restored about 15 years ago. Uh, it's a Western car. This was sold at the Barrett Jackson Scottsdale auction. Underneath the car, best I can tell, is completely rust free original metal. It has the factory undercoat on the floors, the inner rockers, quarters, the little rubber flaps on the drain holes you know, underneath. It's all still there. None of it's been rotted away or cut or patched or replaced. So completely rust free floors. The frame and chassis is a nice. Uh, smooth metal painted like a semi-gloss black. Uh, when they restored the car, the front end suspension was rebuilt. Uh, same thing in the back, the shocks, the bushings, all that looks like it's been redone. The exhaust system looks brand new. And this has the X frame and the exhaust is bent real neatly right along the frame. Uh, it has drum brakes all around. The hoses look new. They're working real nice. Uh, at the bottom of the motor is super clean. You look up at it. It's a nice clean Chevy orange motor. It has the flywheel cover. It has the correct screw-on canister oil filter. Uh, starter looks clean. Uh, it has a correct Borg Wardner T10 four-speed trans. And according to the codes on the rear end, it's a 355 uh, gear in the back. Uh, the body is pristine. Also, I believe it to be all original metal. The gaps are just spot on. I say square and flush because everything lines up square and it's flush. It's all smooth. The thing is laser beam straight anywhere you look. It's like an arrow. Uh, smooth everywhere. No bubbles, no blisters, no damage. I can feel the factory like dimple spot welds around the uh, wheel well lip here. Look how it all fits so nice and square. They did an incredible paint job. All the metal flake is laid out and has a clear coat that's polished really glossy. If you are going to look with a magnifying glass for flaws, I'm sure you can find some. There's a couple very mild like stains, like something might have dripped on it and slightly discolored it. I've looked at this car a bunch of times, never even noticed it till now. I'm trying to be critical. Uh, it's a very excellent show quality paint job, in my opinion. Uh, all the trim, these moldings, probably been straightened and polished. I don't think these are new, but all of this is mint as the bow tie mirror. It is the original glass. There is a real faint wiper mark way over here to the side. And there is a stone chip here that was repaired at one time. But again, look how all this fits. The moldings are straight and polished. All this trim looks new. The grill is real nice original. The bumper's been re-chromed, has four T3 headlamps. It's just a nice stripped down muscle car sleeper. It's got the painted rims with the poverty hubcaps. They are mint. The rims are painted beautifully. These are reproduction Goodyear uh, bias ply tires. I love a, a car where the doors function real nice. I push that button in with one finger. 
It doesn't get better than that. I just love it when a door opens and closes like that. This thing's a sweetheart. The door jams are real nice. Weather strips are real good. In back, it has a re-chromed bumper, but this center section had some imperfections in the chrome. Not even close to worth replacing, but it is not perfect. This is new. The original tail lights are real nice. And it has bumper guards. I think those were an option. Trunk compartments mint. This is the original paint underneath here and possibly in the jams here too. The seams in the jams and the spot welds are crisp and clean. Uh, has a painted rim with a polyglass tire. The jack is restored or cleaned up. All clean original metal. Has the rubber mat, new weather strip. So a super nice clean trunk compartment. The interior is in excellent shape. Under the hood, it is a period correct 409. It is definitely a 409. It has the X cast on the front of the block. Uh, it has the aluminum uh, intake with the factory dual quad, two four barrel setup with the right fuel line and glass fuel bowl. It's got the chrome valve covers, the big dual snorkel air cleaner. They did put a set of headers on there, and they look pretty new, probably when they did the exhaust. Other than that, and a gel battery, everything is stock. It has GM hoses, clamps. I don't know how many of you know this, but a 409 has a slant on top of the radiator, which this has. Only the 409s. The others were flat across the top. The interior is excellent, especially the dash. My daughter probably thinks I'm nuts, but I, I couldn't stop talking about how beautiful the dash was. It was nighttime. It lit up the lens, the speedometer, the knobs. It just glistened. It's, it's just a beautiful dash. The metal's all real nice. It is a radio delete. There's no antenna, no radio, no speaker. This is just your stripped-down muscle car. The heater controls, they work. The defrost, the blower, uh, the steering wheel's mint. It has the correct shifter for a bench seat with the little white ball. The carpet, the upholstery, the door panels, it's all been replaced. It has the white perforated headliner. It has the original visors, but they're real good. Uh, dome light works. You have to turn the knob on, and the dome light will come on. So, yeah, real, real nice inside the car, too. You open the glove box, the light works. The owner's manual is in there. And I drove the car. Again, I drove it at night. The lights worked, it shifted beautifully, stopped fine, it accelerated. I mean, this car just did everything just right. I was also noticing in here it has the glass bottle for the extra washer fluid. The squirters are hooked up. It has a hood insulation, a new alternator. Everything's neat and tidy. All the black metal is nice, smooth, clean metal. Uh, it has the horns. So why don't we fire it up? The cushion feels real nice. It's a 72,600 mile car. This is a cold start. It's Monday morning. This has been in here all weekend. The little light on the dash that says cold, that does light, it's lit up now, that does go away as soon as it warms up. You can hear the solid lifters. I'm telling you, this car is a sweetheart. Once it's warm, you just touch the key and it fires right up. I smell fuel. I probably got carried away and pumped it a little too much. You got two big four barrels there. It sits and idles real nice. This is a sweetheart. That's one of those cars I refer to as a sweetheart. It's just a, a nice, it just functions so well. They're very far and few between. There's beautifully restored cars, but when they do everything right, that that's hard to duplicate.
There you have it. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman and they can help answer questions or concerns you might have uh, about the car, about the process, the financing, delivery. I just gave you my honest impression of what I feel about this one. If you have specific questions, please ask. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.